dark side. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Retails from the Dark Side. A show where I tell you stories of my adventures in retail. Subscribe to my channel or I hate you. I've been in retail for over 20 years. I hate people and I hate retail. My job title is Furniture Sales Lead. Because by golly, the word manager is too threatening. They don't want our employees to feel threatened or intimidated. So, on this particular night, I'm the closing manager. I'm minding my own business as usual, and this woman walks into the store. She walks up to me, and she asks, where is your electronics department? So I take her to electronics, and I say, if you have any other questions, just ask. And then I fuck off. Boom, customer service. Cut to a few minutes later, I get a call on the walkie. Hey yo, get up here ASAP and hurry. So I run up to the front, I get up there. I see two employees standing over a woman lying on the ground. Spoiler alert, it's the same woman from earlier. So I ask, what's going on? Did she slip on something? Is she hurt? Is she injured? Is she having a seizure? Did her legs stop working? Is she dead? Both of my employees just look at me and say, I don't know. One of them hands me a can of air duster. <laughs> okay, stick with me here. So this woman walks into the store, she picks up a can of air duster, and the best thought that pops into her head is to huff it. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> I hate people. So I call out to her. Ma'am? Ma'am? Hello? Hello, ma'am? Are you awake? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Are you okay? Do you need help? Do you need an ambulance? Are you having a seizure? What's going on? Are you sleeping? Boom! Customer service. So I'm getting ready to call 911. And then all of a sudden, this woman jumps up like a goddamn jack-in-the-box. She looks around like she has no idea where she's at. She looks directly at me. She literally yells, my kids! And then she runs toward the door. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Funny story, this door is an entrance only. So she <laughs> runs face first into the glass door. She turns around, she looks at me, and she says, Stupid door. Stupid door. You can't make this shit up. She pries open the door, she runs out, she jumps in her car, and then she drives off. I look at my two employees, and I say, Well, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I think I probably said something like, What the fuck just happened? Did I mention I hate people? The moral of the story is, Don't do drugs, kids. Give them to me, and I'll do them for you. Don't huff canned air. Subscribe to my channel. Bye forever.